Oh, man. The days are getting shorter. The weather is getting colder. And there's just so much going on right now. But you know what really warms my heart? Ninja. Welcome to Ninja Lab. My name is William. Once again, we're going to be looking at the Elite Division as we see the best of the best try to qualify for the regional finals and try to get to the World Championship. So, let's start things off with the results for Dexterity Depot. For the Elite Female Division, in second place was Ava Colasanti. Ava was looking incredibly strong early on on obstacles like the ring toss and the rope jump. But unfortunately, when taking on the obstacle called Swings and Things, she was unable to make the transfer to the second thing that she had to swing to and had a bit of a rough landing. But fortunately, she was okay and she earns herself nine points and qualifies for the Northeast Regional Final. And in first place for the elite female division was Rachel de Guts. Rachel was looking incredibly good early on on the ring toss, and unfortunately she did get a little hung up on the rope jump and had a close call, but she was able to persevere and make it past swinging things. When she made it to the peg arch, she was able to put the obstacle in a figure four and power her way through the obstacle. Unfortunately, she took up so much time on the aforementioned obstacles that by the time she reached the bouncing spider, she only had about 20 seconds left on the clock and unfortunately rushed the obstacle and failed right there. But the good news is that she earned herself 10 points and qualified for the Northeast Regional Final. You like that one? Let's go. Get to that two by six. Get to the wood. You can use that black piece of wood right in front of you. Right time. You got 50 seconds. Go, Rachel. Let's go. For the elite male division, in second place was Joseph Meisner. Joe, in my opinion, is a future ninja star in the making, and he showed it on this course. After getting through the early obstacles, the real key point was when he approached the battering ram, the second of two battering rams, because that obstacle was the real ninja killer due to its very tricky dismount, with the battering ram being very slighty if you weren't careful. However, he was only one of two people to clear that obstacle, which guaranteed him to qualify for the Northeast Regional. From that point on, it was smooth sailing, although he did cut it close, clearing with a time of 3 minutes and 28.37 seconds, less than 2 seconds left on the clock. And in first place for the elite male division was Matthew Bradley. Matt was just a wild roar ride on the course. Uh, he skipped the second th uh, thing in the swings and things, allowing him to get a big skip there. And uh, he had a very close call on the rollers late in the course. But he did have an impressive dismount on the battery ramp and even skipped a rung on the salmon ladder drop. And overall, he was able to finish the course with a time of 3 minutes and 20.09 seconds. So approximately 8 seconds faster than Joe, allowing him to earn 10 points and qualify for the Northeast Regional Final. All 
remember, if you're interested in competing in the National Ninja League this year, go to nationalninja.com for the full list of schedule for upcoming qualifying events. Now, let's check out the results for NOLA Muscle Park. For the Elite Male Division, in second place was Todd Bourgeois. The former final stage competitor was able to punch his ticket to the South Central Regional Final after he completed the swinging floating monkey bars known as Gibbon Lane. However, when he was on the very end of the next obstacle, his grip just gave out on the very last hold and he went down on that portion of the course. And in first place was Elijah Browning. Elijah was able to get further than Todd by completely skipping the hold that took Todd out. And he was able to make it a couple of obstacles further than Todd. But unfortunately, when going through some of the more trapeze articles, his foot hit the ground and he clearly put weight on the mat. And that was a disqualification, ending his run right there on a very difficult course. It's now time for the comment question of the week. What is your favorite ninja move to practice? Is it a specific obstacle? Is it a type of trick on an obstacle? What do you like to do when you're ninja-ing? Let me know in the comments below. Now, let's wrap things up with the results for Center Court Lawrence. For the elite female division, in second place was Ava Colasanti. Ava was looking good on some of the early obstacles and was able to complete the obstacle titled Who Let the Dogs Out in the second fastest time. But unfortunately, when attempting the more parkour obstacle, she was unable to stride through all those steps and she was unable to complete the obstacle. She earns herself nine more points, but because she had already qualified for the Northeast region, Malia Oster is the beneficiary as she qualifies for the finals. And in first place for the elite female division was Addie Herman. Unfortunately, the more parkour obstacle was the real stopping block for the women. But fortunately for Addie, she was able to complete Who Let the Dogs Out approximately two seconds faster than Ava, which earns her first place 10 points and a qualification for the Northeast Regional Final. While the fifth obstacle was the real roadblock for the women, for the men, the roadblock was only the eighth obstacle, as out of all the competitors, only two were able to complete the flying bar with the barrier in it. In second place was Joshua Orr. Joshua was able to just get through the flying bar by simply skipping the barrier section, and as a result, he automatically moved into second place. Now, for the rest of the course, which featured a slew of difficult obstacles, he was able to navigate through them in a very impressive fashion, and he was on pace to potentially get first place. However, all that was completely thrown out the window when he failed the final obstacle of the course and was unable to make the dismount that he was hoping to make, and he fell just short of the finish line. And in first place for the elite male division was Matthew Bradley. Matthew didn't need any type of fancy skips on the course. He made it through all the obstacles efficiently and smoothly, putting up a very impressive run overall. 
And in the end, he was the course's only finisher, guaranteeing him first place and 10 more points for the Northeast Regional. However, because he had already qualified, in addition to Joshua, Josiah Pipel benefits from qualifying for the Northeast Regional Final. But Matthew is really proving to be a force to be reckoned with this season. Hey, thank you all very much for watching. Make sure you watch the full runs of the qualifiers from this season. And make sure you subscribe to know when new Ninja Labs are going live and when new videos go up on this channel. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you later.